Hello everyone. We are from the Department of Sociology. Our topic is differences in culture when Canada, Indonesia, and Central Europe met one another. This is our online. First, we will introduce Canadian culture. Second, we will have an introduction of Indonesian culture. Third, we will share the observations during the trip to Central Europe. Finally, we will make a conclusion about the cultural differences. When it comes to Canada, the first impression of many people is Canadian maple leaf. The maple leaf is the symbol of Canada. The maple leaf is also depicted on Canada's flag. Canadian culture has been influenced by British, French, and its indigenous culture. It has also been influenced by American culture for a long time. Canadian people treasure their multiculturalism. Moreover, they value their own culture as well. In order to protect Canadian culture, the government sets legal minimums on Canadian content in many media. On the other hand, Canadian general concept of life is enjoying life. They like to enjoy the leisure time. For this reason, Canadians live a regular, comfortable, and leisure life. Let me introduce Indonesian culture. Firstly, I'm going to talk about food. The food in Indonesia has a heavy taste. They are heavily sweet, salty, spicy, and very greasy. It's hard for Taiwanese to adapt to it, but these tastes are delicious for the Indonesians. Secondly, I want to introduce their costumes. Women wear salon dress, and men wear trousers. Pay attention to how they dress, and they dress neatly. Lastly, I want to talk about art. Wagon play is also called Wayang Kuli. It's the most characteristic art type. Finally, let me introduce their religion. Indonesia's main religion is Islam, and there are also Christian entities, Buddhism, and so on. There are mutual religious tolerance and respect. I want to share with you one travel experience to Austria and Czech. That was when I took a break in the airport. I overheard the foreigner say that we Asians love to purchase luxury, such as handbags or jewelries. Well, they usually just enjoy the trip without wanting to get luxuries. And it also struck me that there's a big difference between how we dress when traveling. For example, when we travel, we oftentimes still care about how we look a lot, but foreigners tend to dress more casually. In addition, when we travel, we are more inclined to travel with groups. For foreigners though, they are mostly backpackers. Last but not least, I feel that foreigners think more involved when they join activities. They are passionate and talkative. Most Asians are passive and quiet on the country. In conclusion, according to my observation, we value collectivism more, and that leads to the critical difference between the foreigner and us. We can conclude from the report that there is a distinctive difference between the Eastern and Western culture. In Western culture, such as Central Europe or Canada, they embrace various cultures, and they have a more open mind to the world, with a little roughness, whereas the Asian culture possesses a mysterious side, and everyone is adept to act in association with other people. We find that very interesting. Here is our allocation list. This is the end of our video. Thanks for watching.